viewers, welcome to another game schedule pro gamer. Today we're doing Brobdingnagian Ammunition, which is today's daily challenge from Bloom's Tower Defense 5. And um, we are starting off with a Buccaneer. A Buccaneer is of course a good in the early rounds and we are starting off at round 1 for some reason. Yeah, I could have started at like round 30 with just a little bit of cash, well, the same amount of cash that, I that you would get from here, but this is all kind of blah blah gameplay, because uh, everyone can win the first 30 rounds with just about any tower. So um, yeah, it's kind of sad that we need to play through this and it uh, takes forever to do so. But hey, whatever, we will see and um, yeah, what we can actually build. So I'm uh, going to add on one of these um, mortars. And I think I shouldn't have upgraded it straight away that high because, um, yeah, one of the balloons a little bit later is going to almost get through. And yeah, of course you want to have that uh, spike factory in the back just to make sure that uh, whatever you don't pick up, there you go, almost got through. Uh, yeah, so um, I am going to build a spike factory here. It is a little bit safer because the spike factory can uh, pretty much do well, anything that, or kill anything that these guys are going to let through. So, um, yeah, it's it's once again an easy one because, well, there is no decision to make. You just build all the towers and it doesn't really matter what you do. Because you can also go for the, uh, the, the, the mortar in the beginning if you want to. You can go for the spike factory. No, you can't afford that. Sorry. Uh, you can go for the... Uh, the tech shooter in the beginning and then add on whatever you want you can also go for the uh the, 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 yeah my favorite but i never f uh, i always forget the name i can never remember what it's called it is the dartling gunner that's what it's called so yeah i normally would go for the dartling gunner but i was like okay let's do something else and um yeah eventually i will go of course for the dartling gunner uh tune one is mainly what I want to keep it at for now, but uh, eventually we will get that to uh, two and three, which is, well, not the highest upgrade you can get on it, but it is the highest useful upgrade that you can get on it. So um, yeah, it's it's going to be the, uh, the rockets. So instead of the lasers, we will have the rockets. And yeah, I'm upgrading the boat here because I wasn't sure whether it would die to those uh, balls from the spike factory. I was pretty sure it would though. So you can probably just let it go, but yeah, why not? I mean, the boat upgrade is relatively useful up until like wave 70 something. Um, yeah, because, well, no, no, no. A little bit, uh, up until wave 60, because in 65 you're already 64 65 you have too many mobs that uh, if you don't have real defense against them that boat is not going to do anything for you so um yeah uh, quite a bit of um, of moab power in the beginning but they all just appear in ones or twos and now it's three but yeah we can uh, pretty much defend against them now and uh, yeah the last one gets sniped by my boat so good um, yeah, the boat cooldown is pretty long, so yeah, that's why it's not really useful. You can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, I am, however, going to uh, now have enough defense for whatever comes my way. Because we do have the spike factory now at 4 and 2. And the 4 and 2 spike factory can pick up, uh, well, just about anything. It doesn't really matter what you throw at it. It will just regenerate the spikes and be alright. So um, round 60 is coming, so that's why I'm not really using the boat at the moment, plus it's not really necessary. Um, yeah, round 60, there you go. Easy win with uh, this, uh, the uh, Buccaneer. And we're just continuing on. So the mortar is now fully upgraded at 4 and 2. And the 4 and 2 mortar, yeah, if you reposition it every now and then, it can pick up just about anything. This is round 63. As you can see, the mortar will pick up most of that on its own. 64 then with a whole bunch of these guys and then 65 which uh, should be interesting because uh, we finally do have to take down one of the BFBs on our own without the help of our uh, yeah our boat 
And there you go, getting one of them with the bolts, and the other one is going to get taken down. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. So easy. GG.